Hello everybody and welcome back to Wild Flowers where today there is mail in the mailbox. Hey beautiful, I've been thinking about it and I would like to take you up on your dinner offer. Shall we have an evening picnic in the hollow? I'll make an amazing charcuterie platter, perhaps you could bring some bread. Just come by my shop when you're ready for our picnic, Wesley. Oh, we got a romance going on now. <laughs> I was trying for that. Okay, so I'm in a pretty happy position right now. All of my whirly gigs are doing their thing. What are we on a Thursday? I'm going to go and see Zephyr today. Um, I'm, oh, yes. Also, we need to go and see if uh, Kai is about. I'll grab a couple of more things off of these trees. Uh, uh, to get the chili pepper from. And Lena for the spinach. See, I remembered. Wow, look at me go. So those are my two biggest priorities. And then I will be going to Zephyr to see about getting the, uh, the things for the gems. Not that it matters too much. Fishy makes me all my money at this point. <laughs> so I really don't care that much. I'm just waiting for some crocuses so I can cast my sea spell. Ah, so it's feeling like I'm in a good place though. So, um, once over on the way back through, I'll change the glass over as well. I just don't want to forget about the spinach and things because they're important. Um, is Lena shut today? Is Kai shut today as well? Are they both closed today? Yeah, okay, so Friday for them then. How long have I got until the winter feast? Five days. Okay, so we've got time. That's all right. Let's head over to Zephyr's then. I hope she's open. Gee. Yes. Um, I, and what I want to know is, can I make that magical wire? Because it said to me to find those things in the mines and I haven't found them. So maybe I could at least make the electrical wire that's needed. Maybe then it will show up properly. I don't even know what I'm looking for there. It's a bit of a bit of a pain, but it's okay. We'll work it out. Zephyr! Hello! Right, I need your shop and I need to see what uh, is needed for enchanted wire. Wool weed. It grows wild in the gloaming. Oh. That might be then, in fact stuck behind it says in the gloaming it doesn't say deep in the gloaming but it might be stuck behind my wand upgrade I need to go deep into the gloaming at some point but I'm waiting for the crocuses to grow and I've got to wait a few days for that so I need things to do in the meantime so I can't do anything Except for... Oh! Candles for... Did I hand in the candles to Sophia? No, I didn't. I did not. So we need to make some bread as well. And go on our date. Okay, well, in that case, that's my new plan for the day. Um, oh, glass first as well. Glass, 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 glass. And there's candles there. Oh, no, they're being made still. Okay. And there's some leather, but I need more tanning things for more leather. Okay, more tanning solution, that's fine. So let's go see if we can find Sophia somewhere. Shop might be open, I'm not sure. Did I need to see Bruno for anything? I think I did all my Bruno stuff recently. Yeah, it's just salmon and shrimp, which I need for my stuff. Okay, I think I've recently done that then. I got your candles. Any progress with the candles? She sounds so sad. Yes. Yes, here they are. Oh, they're perfect. Thanks so much, Tara. And just in time for the first night of Hanukkah. Have some latkes. And here's the recipe if you want to make more. Nice. Oh, oh, but potatoes are spring season crops. Hmm. Well, 
There must be some way for you to grow out of season plants. A greenhouse, maybe? Island life does have its limitations. To be honest, I've been thinking about leaving. Don't leave, Sophia. I don't think I uh, skipped over anything that important. It was all about needing potatoes. And I know I'm on my way to that, don't you worry. Marty offered to help introduce me to a real estate agent who could help me sell the diner. Oh, did he? I bet he did. Oh, no, you can't leave, Sophia. You're very kind, Tara. It means a lot. So we've got uh, latkes and latka recipes. Fantastic. I can now make that in my kitchen. And we are still at a point where Sophia... I think Sophia's on like second, third heart, something like that. Let me check. Uh, we need to have the cutscene for the third heart with Sophia at the moment. Um, working on Shelby still, working on Thomas still a little bit. Wesley we're going on a date with. And Zephyr. Not a lot going on. Damon is probably at a point where if I got that, that last cutscene with him, I'd probably be able to start going on a date with him. Um, and... Kai is basically at the same point as well. Um, Amira, really behind. Need to work on her. Kim, they're doing all right, I think, at the moment. And Perry, we're working on Turkish Delights. Cool. Also, I have candles to give Perry as well, so... I feel like we're getting on okay, to be honest. Also, when am I getting your cutscene, mate? I'm when quite that thrilled happen? that Kim volunteered to organize the winter feast this year. Oh. Oh, um, what are you and Vanessa making? My father will be making the soft family contribution. It's uh, smoked fish. No, household. So if you have a, a different house, you're a different household. So you and Vanessa should be making something as well as Bruno. Hey, you! How's it going? You know how some people get more depressed when the sun's not out as much? Me! I'm like that. <laughs> so I'll be able to grow all of these out-of-season ones. That's why they sell the out-of-season stuff. Oh, it's going to be so good! I did put more glass on, didn't I? So I was going to... Uh, buh, 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 buh. Give Sophia the candles. See Zephyr. Is there anything else I was going to do? Make the bread for Wesley, I think. And then tomorrow we need to get all the stuff for the winter feast. So I think we have all the stuff for bread at the moment. I bought a whole load of yeast and things. There we are. Perfect. Take the bread to Wesley. Bit of a rainy day for a picnic though. Should we go on a sunny day? I think we should. Do I have any more? Because uh, I do need to keep giving. You know what I should do? I should find out what Ariel's favourite stuff is. Let's see if we can um, make some more crystal ball potion. Or if there's some more already there for me. Yes. Yes, yes. What am I missing? Red dye? Oh, okay. I can make that. That's fine. Make ten, so I've got a few for a little while. Crystal ball potions are important. If I want to be friends with people. Um... I've done all of Vanessa and Giver's ones. I don't think I'll need to do Thomas's. I don't think I'll need to do Wesley's. I could do with something more for Violet, I think. Perry, we're fine. We're fine for... Uh, Sebastian, do we work something out? Who are we really behind on? Kim, Amira. Right, okay, how about Amira and Ariel today? Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. 
Marinated olives, jeweled rice. Okay, so so far, not so good. Ariel, what do you like? Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. Peanut rolls. Okay. Well, those were utterly useless. It's um And I've done as much as I can there. Um, we've got some more... Some more copper essence, so I'll just keep going with that, I think. I need mint cooler. Where can I get mint now? Summer and fall. Can't get it anymore, I don't think. Well, I think that was one that uh, Amira quite likes, but uh, I'm not <laughs> doing very well with the other things. Let's see about... Let's see if we do have them. Like jeweled rice. I certainly don't have that peanut thing. Ramen, bolognese, Moroccan carrot soup, three sister stew, tomato soup, truffled mash, Kia pizza, fish fingers, lasagna. Right. And I'm on to desserts and drinks. Okay. Honey lemon tea, we need tea. Or is it honey lemon tea? Someone might like honey lemon tea. I think it's mint tea for Amira though. Might be honey lemon though. I'll just keep going with the, the crystal ball potions. We'll get there eventually. I'll get things that people like that I can make sometimes, I'm sure. Main thing is the, the stuff for giver and the stuff for making the salmon rolls. Okay, so I've got my bread now. Uh, greenhouse is on the way. Four pieces of glass to go. Let's go and have a look at that then. Did I put the glass back on? No, I didn't because I'm silly. Go me. So, yeah, 16 hours worth of changing around the glass. I should then have enough. Uh, was there anything else I needed? Like, did I need to go and... Did I need to go and get some more iron or something like that? I did. I need 20 iron bars. Okay. I haven't seen Miney in about a week, so I'll have to go find them, I think. So Natalia's is closed today, but will be open tomorrow as well. So yeah, basically we just... Let's just not worry about anything. Let's just, I don't know, go in the mines or something. I, I don't know. I don't need to go looking for pearls on the beach anymore. I don't need to go looking for... I could go looking, uh, actually, if I've got enough, and I don't know if I do. Um, magical... No, that's task items. Magical items. I've got enough lockpick spells, which I don't, but maybe I should get some more. Maybe we should get some more lockpick spells and just go through the mines and really double check I've got all of the chests because uh, any anything that I can get would be ideal. Any more recipes that I can get would be ideal. I've got all the recipe books from everyone at the moment. Started collecting those as soon as I got, like, nice stuff. Animal growth booster. Oh, I see. A rainbow egg. Where did I get that from? Flower paper. Mistletoe. Where do I get mistletoe from? Because mountains during winter. So I should be able to get mistletoe in the mountains at the moment. Um... Just missing a bit of paper and I can make some. I can make as many as I want as long as I've got the magic for it. So how about we go make a load of paper because I've got quite a lot of wood at the moment. I'll change that candle over then. I'm still making some for Perry at the moment. Two hours on the glass. I'm making any silk there, which is silly. I'm not making any wine there. Or... I was gonna make kimchi and sour make some sauerkraut. Apple cider. Yeah, I'm gonna make some sauerkraut out of the cabbage. 
That'll be interesting, won't it? Okay, and then uh, that's about everything I think I want to do in here. Everything's going to happen tomorrow, though. Everything. I've still got wedding cake. I've got so much stuff that I can eat. I need to give Finn that strawberry milkshake at some point. So maybe I should just go around and give presents to people. No, they're all going to be in bed now, so... Uh... Natalia, when am I going to get to do your final... I heard Sophia isn't organizing the Cutscene. winter feast this year. <sighs> it's all my fault, I suppose. Probably. If anyone should have to skip the feast, it should be me. But she doesn't have to skip the feast. She wants to skip the feast. She doesn't feel comfortable with anybody in town now, so it's not really something you can do much about. Uh, what am I doing? I didn't even make the paper. I went and did everything else in the shed I possibly could have done and didn't make the paper. So even if I just spend the evening making that, we got as far as level... Was it level 9, level 10, something like that? Checking thoroughly. Paper! Gee, my brain. How about we make quite a bit? <laughs> so I don't have to do that again. There's like this disconnect in my brain between making paper and doing things in the shed. It feels like I should be able to make the paper here where I'm going to use it. And so then it just falls out of my brain the second I go through a door, basically. That is a real thing. I used a lot of magic up. But that's okay. Tara is getting very magical nowadays. Right, so let's head into these mines and just see if I can do something a little bit better. And then tomorrow we're getting give her her gift. I'm making the salmon. Right, so um, let's start on level 9. I'm pretty sure I got the chest open on level 9. I think there was one, and I got it open. So let's check. Yeah, so I opened that one. We we're about to go through to level 10 and have a really good look around on level 10 and make sure I've gotten all of the chests open there. And we run out of time, so... I might be able to just check another couple of levels today. If there's one on level 10, it's probably by the door. A lot of these early level ones are right by the doorway. Doesn't look like level 10 has one. Okay. Level 11. See, these middle levels are where I'm likely to have lost, uh, forgotten it because I've, I've gone backwards from 20 as well. But some of the higher levels, it might be a chance that I've had two chests and not had enough lockpicks to open them up and things as well. So that's a chance. Um, nope. 12. Check around. There's probably a lot of recipes for me to get while doing things like fishing. I've found a couple while digging things up as well. Uh, digging up dirt in the mountains. Doesn't look like I've got one there, so that's 12. 13. We had one on 9. I'm thinking every 4 levels we might have one. I'm hoping I haven't, like... I missed anything. I'm trying to to look, but there's a chance that it might have slipped past me. No, 13 is a no. Try 14 quickly. And then I think I'm going to head to bed. I think I've probably got them all open at this point. Yeah, there's one on 14, and that is open as well. Okay, cool. Right then, let's uh, get to bed. I just thought I'd have another look around. I, I don't think I've got anything more that I need to lockpick open, unfortunately. <laughs> Maybe that'll be useful later. Um, yeah, let's go to bed, and in the morning... Should I go to bed? 
we will turn over the glass. Check on my crocuses if they're ready yet. I don't, flowers don't look ready yet. They look like they're still growing. But that's fine because I don't have time. I, I need to do giver's gift, Lena's stuff, and make some... <gasps> it wore off! No, luckily I was prepared for this eventuality. The time for walking slow is done. Quicken my feet and make me run. I was prepared for this eventuality, so... Uh, I should be a bit faster now for eight more days. So I want to collect that glass. We're on 15 of 18, so that will be 16, and then two more after that. Mm, okay. Uh, what am I going to do until, until 9 o'clock, though? Or maybe I'll find some people to give some presents to you. I don't know. Maybe Finn and Emmy will be around or something. Chat to Sophia, chat to Juliet, maybe. The winter feast was my favorite part of this season. Now even that's ruined. Mm, that's sad. You know what I will miss? I'll miss making a chocolate pie for the winter feast. Well, I could, but that would be so much pie for just Make Juliet, for Juliet and me. Honey. What is it with me and Sophia today? <laughs> now that I'm saying it out loud, it isn't the worst idea. You could just sit and eat chocolate pie. I'm recording this on Easter Sunday, so I'm about to go and eat a massive chocolate egg once I've finished my work today. <laughs> nom, nom, nom. Marty's around, Violet's around. Right, so, 8.20, Finn is here. Would you like a milkshake? Because I haven't got anything else to do with it. Snack time! Thanks! You're welcome. Hey, guess what I can do now, Finn? Grow strawberries for your milkshakes. Yeah! Finn's gonna love me. Ooh, a snack. Let's see if it fits in my pocket. So the twins are sorted then, because I'm gonna have loads of milk. Um, so Sebastian and Juliet. Juliet likes mushroom pizza, so I can easily make that. I need to buy some cheese though. Uh, Sebastian likes pancakes, and I am making maple syrup for that. Okay, pancakes and mushroom pizza. We can do those. Let me go and buy a stack of ten cheese or something. as well as the spinach we need. I, uh, I don't want to be waiting on the spinach, I want to just buy it. So let's buy a couple of those. Let's buy 10 cheese for anyone that likes pizzas. And that's fine. And then I will be coming back for seeds and things once the greenhouse is done. But Parker's gonna take a day or two to get that sorted. And from you, my fine chap, I need a chili pepper. Please say you've got one for me. You do. Lovely. Okay, who else did I need to see today? Natalia, wasn't it? For some iron. I feel real bad for Natalia. I would oh. help you if I could, Natalia. I just don't have any wood to spare in my shop right now. <sighs> Curse that unreliable fairy. I'll never have enough coal to make it before my next shipment comes. Oh, you know what? There's a mine full of coal, like, next to my farm. Oh, Tara, any chance you have some spare wood I could burn down into charcoal? I can't keep my forge hot enough without it. I have this kind of handy thing that makes me like hundreds and hundreds of wood. And uh, yeah, they're off doing some chopping right now. Um, yeah, 50 will be fine. <laughs> I love the whirly gigs. Whirly gigs are the best thing that's ever happened to me in this game, I swear. Hi, Tara. Did you bring the wood? Here it is. Here's your wood, Natalia. Will it make enough charcoal? Yes, this should be enough. It'll burn down just before I run completely out of my last batch of coal. Lucky timing. I also have loads of coal. <laughs> Could have given you 50 coal as well. You believe in luck, Tara? You make your own. I believe in luck, but I think you can't just rely on it. You've got to help it along. 
you got to be you put yourself in the places and do the work and put things out there and then there's a chance that somebody might see what you're doing and it progresses you or pushes you forward in whatever way you want to that to happen but if you're sat at home watching telly nothing's going to happen to you that's pretty much how i how i think about it too tara so Yes, Messenger Cameron says something similar. Uh, how you can have the best shoes, but you still have to walk the path. Yes. The old Bobka who held onto my great grandpa's hammer all those years said, when I picked it up, my luck would get better. But you picked it up and also worked with it. I think she was right. After all, I live in this beautiful place now, and I've made such wonderful friends. Like you, Tara. Keep your call. Tara and Natalia are best friends. Oh, that was the best friend quest. Nice. Perfect. That's so cool. Right, so Natalia and I are now best friends. That's amazing. So, uh, oh, yeah, that was the... <laughs> that was enough to throw me off, wasn't it? We needed some hey, iron. Tara, oh. if it's no trouble, can I speak to you for a moment? Sure. Sure, what's up? I want to help Messenger Cameron prove that the League is a force for good in the community. That is not something I want to do, but okay. I feel badly, you know, about Sophia. I still can't explain what happened. It's not just about weeding out the malcontents. We can help our neighbors in other ways. Anyway, Cameron wants to start a new charity initiative. A soup kettle. We'll be offering free soup to anyone in the community who wants it. Okay, I can I can go for a soup drive. I I can help with that. That's a wonderful idea. I thought you'd like it. Of course, we're gonna need a really big pot. Okay. I'll take any copper you have to spare. Once I've got enough, I can hammer out the soup kettle. Twenty copper. I actually have enough already. There you are. Been in the mines lately? Yep, here's your copper. <laughs> Wonderful. I'll get right to work and give this to Messenger Cameron tomorrow. Oh, if you have a moment to stop by the Consciousness Center, I know he'll want to thank you himself. Okay, I will try and do that. Um. Oh, hey, Tara. I'm still hammering away at the soup kettle. It should be done tomorrow. So you should go see Messenger Cameron then so he can thank you. Okay, <laughs> I will do that. Uh, right, iron. Lovely. Right, so let's go in my, uh, in my kitchen. I'm going to go and change my glass over. And then we're going to go in the kitchen and make the salmon. And make givers stuff. So that is my... Oh no, okay. Well, we'll go and cook and come back again, I guess. Everything's so squished in in there, isn't it? Right, to my kitchen. So, I need salmon. A roasted. And I also need... Where are they? These little prawns. Prawns colorada. So, I think that recipe possibly came with um i think it was bruno's book uh, it's either that or i picked it up at some point fishing or something like that but i think that that came from bruno's book of like various um fish recipes i think i got like a fish stew and things like that as well and so now i need to find giver is probably up on the mountain so let's go and have a quick check i could do with at some point uh emptying out fishy and miney's inventories as well and just so i've got all of the copper ore and things like that that i need all right if giver is up on the mountain she will be in her observatory right now uh, but it is shut, so that's saying to me that she's somewhere else, probably in town or something. Err. While I'm here. 
Might as well grab bits and bobs. But yeah, it's not enough just to make the thing. I have to give it to her as well. So, can't forget that. And then once I've done that, I can go on my date with Wesley, I think. Wesley the werewolf. <clears throat> Probably shouldn't go too late, I guess. Um, oh, Wesley's is open on Friday, right? But I think he said I have to go to the shop, right? Yeah, it's going to be open all weekend as well. So if I don't make it today because I'm doing Giver's Gift, that's fine. The Giver's Gift is more important. Where's she likely to be then? My thoughts are somewhere in town, but I'm not sure where. I don't think she goes to the bar really. Aha, she's chatting to Kai. Hello. There we are. Oh, you're my secret gift giver. How charming. I am. Oh, and good on you for not being afraid of a bit of heat. Luckily, I made some strawberry milkshakes to cool down after. Oh, handy, I'll give those to Finn. You make strawberry milkshakes in the winter? It's my favorite time for frozen treats. You can drink it as slowly as you please and it won't melt. That's actually a really good point. Huh, I never thought of that. Mm, they're no mango lussies, but they're not bad. And can you believe Kai was able to find me some strawberries in winter? He's a wizard, I tell you. Wizard? What? Who's a witch? Oh, I didn't mean literally. What with all the unrest in town. I wasn't accusing him of anything. Well, I must get back to work. I'm cooking up a special new project. It's terribly exciting. Oh, a new project. I wonder what she's up to. Phew, okay. So if I want Giver to like me, I need to make her those lots of times. I'm guessing. So let's see if Kai has any more chilies. Yeah, out of stock on those at the moment? Nah, that's okay. And the pineapples. I'll buy some saffron and avocado from you though, because those are things that I can't get. Also some paprika. Cinnamon! Yes! Chocolate. Black tea. All the things, all the things I'm gonna need. Potentially. Right, okay. Date time. We'll bring up the bread to Wesley's shop and we can go on our picnic. That's going to be lovely. And then once we've done that, I'll change the glass back over again. And by tomorrow, I think we'll have a greenhouse. Which will be wonderful. Who's on the bulletin board right now? Oh, for Violet. Mmm. Ultra Miracle Grow. I don't think I can do that at the moment. However, those two I can. Oh, I can't do Wesley's one. Revitalized potions for demons. So the coven are starting to put things up here, which is kind of cool. Let's go on a date, Wesley. Are you ready for our al fresco dinner? Yes. Yep, I've got a fresh baked loaf right here. Perfect. Let's go. Be careful to Try and keep all of the conversation. I'll just say it, Tara. I didn't ask you to join me so that we could have a nice what? meal. There's also something I've been working up the courage to say. I care for you. A lot. Aw, I feel the same way, Wesley. Oh, Wesley. I feel the same way. Ever since I realized you were dateable, I was like, it's between Wesley and Damon, but... Wesley has stolen my heart, I think. Really? Even though I'm sometimes like this. If it were nighttime, I might go in for a kiss right now. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe wait until you're like more of a normal guy. Not the, uh, yeah, so not quite so sharp on the teeth when in, in the daytime. <laughs> Oh, okay, she's going for it. Go on, Tara. 
<laughs> and now we can have our nice dates. Oh, that was wonderful. Tara and Wesley are dating. Cool. Hey, Perry. Were you sat there watching our entire picnic? I, I guess you were. Uh, do I have any more Turkish delight for you? No, I don't. Oh, no. Okay, sorry. I'll just have to when chat. When Wesley first arrived here, he had me attempt many variations on a lycanthropy cure. None of them worked. Now he has stopped asking. Perhaps he has finally accepted the fey part of himself. Maybe he has. Oh, Ariel has something to ask me. Oh yeah, feathers. Oh, wildling. This is extraordinary. <laughs> With this, I will do mischief unlike anything you have ever seen. Oh, good. That was totally what I was doing that for. Wesley has been doing some excellent howling lately. <laughs> I love his... Oh, his, uh, his perspective on life is amazing. But it will never be better than mine. Give us a howl, Ariel. Give us a howl. I don't have any of those peanut butter things you like, so I'm going to have to work out something else that I can make that you do like. <laughs> that was so cool. Those look like they might be ready to harvest. Oh yeah, my onions. Oh no, they're not ready. They'll probably be ready tomorrow though. How are my crocuses doing? Three more days. I'm gonna run out of things to do. I won't actually though. Because in three more days it's gonna be the, the harvest festival. So I think it's been designed so that you have the, sorry, not the harvest festival, the winter feast. You have the winter feast kind of before you're able to do much more. Um, the soup kettle will be done tomorrow. Nice. The greenhouse, I think, will probably be done at some point in the day tomorrow. Just in time for the weekend. So I don't need to worry about being too fast about all this because we won't be getting that until Monday. But that is fine. Is there anything else I want to do at the moment? Play around with uh, crystal ball potions, probably. They are my favorite thing in this game. I hate having to work out what people's favorites are. Having a potion that just does it for you? I will make that all day and all night. <laughs> uh, let's put some more copper on. Oh, I'm getting low on copper now, so I need to probably go and like find Miney and grab the grab the copper. I wonder if we'll be able to find Miney. So generally I find the best way to find Miney is to start on level one and just run through until Miney pops up. Because Miney starts on level one and goes very slowly through. Hi Miney. I love that you can see which gem you put into their back. That's brilliant. So Miney has found me various gems. Much, much, much ore. Some fine sand, clay and coal. Thank you, my, my fine chap. So I will not need to buy anything except probably pearls <laughs> from, from Miney. Uh, sorry, from Francis because of Miney. I may end up selling some of the gems to Francis. Uh, so what I might end up doing though is buying... Oh, you're out of chub now. Okay. Get you some more bait soon. What was I saying? Sorry. Uh, you might end up um, with the wrong types of crystals because what I'm going to be looking for now is diamonds all the way. Now I know I can buy diamonds and that they're therefore not a rare thing. It will be diamonds every single time. Uh, is there anything else I want to do? Let's just see. Um, 
when my speed boost longer runs out, I will be looking for some more ink and some more essence of silver. So once these are done, I want to put an essence of silver on and maybe another tanning solution. Those go quite well together. So let's go to, bed, go to bed and we can do the copper cauldron in the morning then. And I think we're going to be probably winter feasting at this episode. Looks like my flowers are done. I think my onions are going to be done today as well. So today is a Saturday. So today might also be a good day to um, check on Otto up in the mountains. to see if, if winter time coming in has made any change to that. I'm going to put on some soil. Reason being... That uh, I might have to make planters in my greenhouse. So it might be nice to have that. So if I do that, then Planty should water them for me. Already on it, aren't you, Planty? Well done. Good robot. Um... Crocuses still need watering. Guess, guess Miney will get on that too. No, might not one. Planty, not Miney. So we'll just get some soil in. I need to go down to Cameron and check on the soup pot. So I think I'll do that first, and then we'll go and see if we can check on Otto and and see if Vanessa's in the woods. The usual. I'll be checking on that every sort of Saturday, Sunday time. I imagine Otto's still kind of probably walking over. I think in the morning they go to the consciousness center as well. So I think it's uh, probably a handy thing. Hey! Tara, thank you so much for your contribution to our charity initiative. I wasn't entirely happy about it, but you're welcome. Natalia said she couldn't have finished the kettle without you. She couldn't. Happy to help. Besides, who doesn't love soup? Especially the free kind. Well, <laughs> about that. You see, I grew up on TV sets. We always had catering tables, and uh, <laughs> I never quite learned how to cook. You never learned how to cook. But I'm trying to learn. It's just my first few attempts haven't been exactly edible. I see. If you wouldn't mind supplying the first batch of soup, I'll get some more practice in to keep it going. Really? Mind you, we're getting to we're getting the recipe for pumpkin soup, so that's not too bad. I don't mind getting recipes from things. How are we doing for recipes, by the way? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight missing raw foods. We're about halfway on the pot. Probably about, I would say probably about halfway on most things. Maybe a little over halfway on the drinks. Wow, there's still loads to learn. Like, I guess most of it's going to be quests and like digging and chopping and things like that. Mira, you don't have a shop, do you? I just want to double check this. No, you don't. Most people are looking forward to the winter feast, but... <laughs> Planning my contribution is just another task on my list. It's cold and flu season right now. I'm at my busiest. You're always at your busiest. In summer, it's broken bones. In the autumn, it's uh, other other stuff. And then in winter, it's cold and flu. Can I help? Oh, just keep being your beautiful self. Oh, that's nice. It's very sweet. But yeah, Amira, really, I do need to sort of bucket up with getting to get into those four stars i don't think i've got a feeling that the the three stars at the end are for dating which is why i'm not really too worried about it and it will cap it in fact i wonder if now wesley and i are dating whether some of the others are now capped at four they don't seem to be though so maybe you can date multiple people in this one <laughs> Oh, Angus, even for you, that was a terrible joke. Kim's cut scene was in Angus's bakery. Wow. <laughs> Whatever, you're laughing. 
Uh, how about this one? What do you call a gay pride parade in Fairhaven? I want to know the answer to this. Five people and a flag. I'm pretty sure there's more than five gay people. Okay, so. People that would be involved in gay pride. Ang Angus, Francis, Kim. Amira. Giver. Shelby. That's at least six. <laughs> so what about you, Miss Tara? What side of the parade would you fall on? Inquiring minds want to know. Um, the werewolf side? Angus, that's none of your business. Tara, you don't have to answer that. Um, hmm. I don't care about labels. <laughs> I follow my heart wherever it leads. I don't really care about labels, to be honest. I was considering a mirror at one point. <laughs> <laughs> when I had a choice between like uh, Damon, Amira, and Kai at the beginning, Damon just seemed really flaky. <laughs> he grew on me definitely as he as I learned that he was part of the coven and that he was a really talented wizard and you know he, he was doing really well with his business and things like that. So he kind of became more responsible in my eyes, but at the beginning he seemed really irresponsible. So I was like, maybe Amira. Oh, I like her, Kim. Forgive me if I overstepped. <laughs> it's okay. It's just that I want to try a recipe for this romantic chocolate fondue to go with my fresh pound cake, and there are no new couples around here to give it a whirl. But there are new couples. You just don't know who the, the other... We don't know Wesley yet. Let me know if you know anyone who might be interested. <laughs> Tara and Kim are good friends now. Fantastic. Even if Angus was being super awkward. And I have chocolate fondue to take to Wesley, please. So I wonder if I need to do a bit more... Um, hmm. I might need to give Wesley another gift. Is there anything else I need to do? We're working on the greenhouse. We're working on the candles. I'm not working on the gold at the moment. Stargazing. Summon night spells. What do we need for summon night spells? Are they hard to do? I forget. Oh, I can make some pumpkin pies as well. So we didn't get a very good answer for Ariel, did we? Or for Amira. Then I'll be able to make milkshakes for now, so that's perfect. I think I can make the mushroom pizzas and the, the pancakes with Sebastian, so that's fine. Yeah, let's do Ariel again. Is that peanut butter thing I cannot make? I think I see something. <laughs> Sugar and lime. Okay. Let's go again with Ariel. Oh, I think I see something. Chocolate coconut truffles. Okay. Um, well, that was a total waste of my time because none of that is stuff I can make at all, I don't think. I'm almost certain I can't make those. We're back up to a decent amount of copper ore now, which is great. Crocuses, we've got another couple of days on them. Lovely, the honey will start coming through now. Let me just double check, because it is winter. I wanted to, oh, oh, now we get stuck on that rock, do we? But I can't do anything with that rock anymore. Can't get rid of it. That's a bit sad. Yep, so the bees are still working away, which is perfect. Well done, bees. I'm just going to keep on keeping on with the glass. One more to do. This is the last one. And then we just got to wait through Sunday. And I can give that to Parker on Monday. Perfect. So winter feast is in three more days. So Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I think that will be. Tuesday, Wednesday, something like that. 
I can make the storm as soon as the crocuses are ready in like two days time, so that'll be Monday. Um, once I've done that, we'll be able to upgrade the wand, I'll be able to go further in the gloaming, I'll be able to get that wool, the scavenger balls that I need from the gloaming hopefully at that point because I'll be a bit further in. Um, salmon has to do it, we've got that done, the greenhouse is nearly done. And I need to make some pumpkin soup. Okay, we need to make a few things with pumpkins. I need to make some pumpkin pie as well. Pumpkin soup. I have all the stuff for that. Oh, I'm glad I kept soy milk. I'll be able to make some more soy soon as well. That'll be great. Although soy seeds, uh, they were from Thomas. I don't know if Thomas sells the out of season stuff. I think he does though. So then I want to do some pumpkin pie, which would be under desserts, I imagine. Yep, and have all the stuff we need to make three of them. Wonderful, so I can start actually giving Lena presents, which is... I really struggled with that, but yeah, let's go and give Cameron the soup and give... If I see Lena on the way past, I'll give her some, uh, some pumpkin pie as well. I think she's open on a Saturday. I think she's shut on Sunday and Thursday. Oh, good grief. I haven't... Ah! Okay. I haven't checked on Otto. Ha-ha! Hey, Otto! I didn't expect to see you out here. Wait, what are you picking? You usually ask, uh me to cover this stuff oh I, I was i was um well the weather was so nice today and i all right fine fine i'm picking flowers for my dad hmm. my mom's birthday is coming up and dad hasn't been the same since she passed oh. the mountain pass was her favorite place so i thought uh, maybe dad would like some blooms from up here that is really sweet also I thought you were embarrassed by your dad. What I will say Ooh. is that I admire Sorry. his ability to express his emotions. I would rather not share my feelings like that. Because I'm the mayor, I mean. It, it wouldn't be professional. Mayors have feelings. Hey, mayors have feelings too. Wouldn't it be better if they didn't, though? <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Well, I have enough for a small bouquet. I should be going. No time to waste. Oh, poor Otto. But first, here's a sentiment that feels appropriately mayoral to share. I appreciate everything you've done for Fairhaven, Terra. Wow, Otto. You're welcome. I He's already gone. So we are friends, and that was that was Otto's question. That was surprisingly touching. This is why you need to have a big stack of levitation potions. But when you realise that you've not done the things you should have done. Still no sign of Vanessa here today. So I feel like what I should probably do is just keep coming up here whenever Vanessa... Loads of stuff to pick up here. Lovely. And I'll head down back down to the consciousness center quickly. Probably shouldn't broom outside there, but I <laughs> don't have much choice at the moment. Right, there's Vanessa. I might follow her about for a bit. Have you had the chance to make some soup? Yes, here you go. Thanks. I'll get this heated up in the kettle straight away. You're welcome to stop by every Sunday for some soup, if you like. Okay, I've got some money for that and some... Uh, oh, so Cameron is now my acquaintance. Where'd she go? Ah. I'm just going to follow Vanessa around, see where she goes. So 
the bar maybe she does she goes to the bar sometimes I see her in there that might be where she that might be where she's going yeah Vanessa and Marty are going to the bar so I would need to catch her if she's going to the woods I'd need to catch her much earlier in the day but I can keep trying because now we've done Otto I don't have to spend Saturdays trying to find Otto's cutscene um so, looking at everybody. Uh, not Ariel. We still have um, something special that might happen to Bruno. For Cameron. So I should keep trying to go into the centre, I imagine. Uh, Emmy and Finn are nowhere near. Francis, no, we still got some work to do with Francis. Just had a cutscene with Kim, so that's probably not going to be right. Lena, we finished Marty, we finished Natalia, we finished Mayor Otto. Parker, still working on him with some coffee, still working on Perry. Sophia. We're still trying to work out Sophia. Wesley. Sophia. Thomas. I need to, like, work on Thomas a little bit, I think, as well. So, right, so Francis would be worth talking to, and so would Kai at the moment. Ah, my nice pea coat is all moth eaten. The only coat the moths didn't get is a knee-length white puffer. Oh dear. And I'm not about to walk around looking like a wad of tissues. No, you need a black puffer, not a white puffer. But aren't you cold? Aren't you? Probably, actually. I should get some different clothes, right? I should get a winter... a winter outfit. I always worry about what to wear for the winter feast. I want to look classy, but it's hard not to puff up like a marshmallow under all those layers. What you're wearing now seems fine. That's true. This outfit does have a certain charm to it. It's Vanessa's only outfit. <laughs> I, that's one thing I've noticed. They do they don't change. That's one Coral Island one thing Coral Island has above this is that Coral Island does change their clothes in different seasons. I chat to Kai. I might have a chat to Marty Ooh, just to see what he says. Smells coming out of Sophia's diner have been off the charts lately, but I think it's because she's spending more time in there than usual, which, like, sucks. It's nice that Kai looks out for Sophia. I really appreciate that. But I think Kai will. I need to work out some things he likes next time. I hear there's gonna be a winter feast. Oh, quaint little countryside traditions like that will be great for my channels. I swear, he cares about his channels more than I do, and like, he, it's my full-time job. Gee. Bruno, why are you sat outside? Billy Lightfoot. That's Thomas's dad. And your grandpappy used to go ice fishing with me. We held a contest once. I tried to go soft on him, but I like winning. I can't help it. <laughs> okay, Bruno. So I think that last heart. If people are saying with Bruno, don't worry about it. That's not going to happen until apparently next year or something. So that's fine. I'm not worried. Um, if I can get another chili pepper, I'll make more of those prawns for Giver. It would be nice if I could make th better stuff. Lena's probably gone away now. I've had a chat to everybody at the bar really early because I was following Vanessa around. Um, let's turn over my glass. Greenhouse will be done this episode, I promise. Sauerkraut's done. Take the construction supplies to Parker. That's another candle for Perry. I don't know if we need more. I think we do. Perfect. Lovely. We're doing well. We're doing really well. Get that greenhouse up and running. I'll get some strawberries going for Finn. Oh, I haven't checked my maple syrup tap. 
I wonder if that's ready to give me some maple syrup yet. It's been a few days. Yeah! Right, let's see if I can make some pancakes now. Sebastian's favourite. I'll be under desserts, no doubt. Pancakes! So I need soy milk for that, but I could also use milk milk. Okay, cool. I can use eggs or sparkly chicken eggs or duck eggs. Sparkly chicken eggs? You what? Why don't I have any milk? I turned it all into butter, I think. Makes some out of soy milk, but I could do with going to see Feedy and getting some more milk, couldn't I? Feedy, where are you? You'll have all my milk, no doubt. Oh, that's Woody, okay. Where'd Feedy go? I need to make sure Feedy has enough feed as well. Stuck on the fence again. They seem to always do their job, so I'm not, not worried at all. 66 eggs and 20 uh, milk and 10 wool. Uh, what I should be doing though, if I want to get a sparkly chicken egg, is probably petting these guys. They're getting towards their final heart now. It might not happen as fast with the automation, but I, I should come in and try, at least. Probably like another 10-15 pets and they'll all be like maxed out, which will be perfect. That'll be fine by me. I should also pet my cow and my... Oh, I meant to get more of those as well. My cow and my sheep. Although, in game, is there any reason? I've got plenty of money. I've got enough wool for anything that I want to make. Any cloth I want to make, that sort of thing. Got enough for that. I've got enough milk. The buttercups on the last one as well. So they're all nearly maxed out. I'm sure they weren't before. I wonder if they are slowly growing to like me over time, even though Feedy's doing most of their feeding. I'm not sure. I can boost them along a bit quicker with petting them anyway, at least. So let's head to bed. Should I go to bed? Yeah. At least I've got all the winter feast stuff then. That was the main that was the main thing. That was the big thing. So it's Sunday now. So I'm gonna spend a bit of today, like kind of following Vanessa around a bit, I think. What on earth are those growing? Oh, that's the tea, is it? Okay. How oh, super interesting. Okay, let's see if there's anything else that I can plant. I've got uh, two spinach and one fennel and one black tea, so I think we'll be planting all of those then, I guess. That's what I happen to have. At least with the greenhouse, I won't have to be so worried about buying like bulk uh, seed orders because then I won't have to worry that things will run out. I'll just plant what I want then. That'd be great. I'll plant the seasonal stuff outside, obviously. Or I might just have the whole thing doing flowers and try and get more honey <laughs> more quickly, I don't know. But uh, I'm very excited about getting that in. It might The greenhouse might not show up until next episode, but it's going to get put in this episode, definitely. Uh, so I want to try and follow Vanessa around today. 
That's pretty much all I want to do. Uh, I'll give Perry the candles as well at some point. Perry can't really leave Ravenwood, so it's quite easy to find her. Wesley is more difficult. So Kai's wandering around. But yeah, I wanted to get these these Vanessa and uh, Otto cutscenes done. Hey, Cameron. This will be my first winter feast, just like you. As a messenger, I should provide actual nourishment as well as spiritual nourishment. I'm still not the best cook, but at least the soup kettle is making me learn the basics. Nice. So I get some soup then. I do. Haha. <laughs> Fantastic. Ain't no mountain high enough to keep me from reaching the pinnacle. Really? Go. With logic in your minds and your eyes on the path. Wonderful. I want to see where Vanessa goes now. What are you going to do with your Sunday, Vanessa? Are you going to go to the woods? That's what people tell me you're going to go. Saturday and Sunday, she doesn't have school, so... I think she might be heading there. Okay. I will follow her <laughs> like a total stalker. Look at me. <laughs> stalking Vanessa. Stalking her to the woods. As far as I'm aware, though, everybody else. Um, I, I really wanted to know some of Wesley's cutscene things. I wanted to really know Vanessa and Otto's ones because someone told me they were leaving the game. Once I've done that, I'm happy just to run around and randomly get the cutscenes whenever they so happen when I so happen to be in the right place. That'll be absolutely fine. I'm thinking I might get some more of those seeds from Perry and start doing some gardening like in the gloaming. Gloaming gardening. Yeah okay so we get Vanessa's one today. Perfect. Try not to like cut, skip Is past all the you? dialogue too. <laughs> oh, hello, Tara. I was just admiring the water. It looks shallow, but it's surprisingly deep here. It makes for a lovely swimming hole. Gotta be really careful though, because that sounds dangerous. Does Otto know that you go swimming in the lake? That's uh, inside the woods. He absolutely detests. Does he know you go to the bar every Saturday as well? I haven't swum here in years, but when I was a little girl, my family came here on vacation every summer. Those weeks were always the best part of the year. They were how I knew Fairhaven was special to me. <laughs> you visited as well when you were a child. Did you also have that sense? Yeah. Yes. Whenever my dad brought me to visit my grandmother, I didn't want to go back. Neither did I. I wonder what our lives would have been like if we'd grown up here. Probably very different. Or maybe exactly the same. Maybe they would have been very different lives but ended up in exactly the same place. Hmm. In any case, I love Fairhaven. Even the parts of it my husband doesn't care for. Sometimes it's hard for me to express that love. But I do feel it. That's really sweet, Vanessa. Well, I mean it. Aww. Oh, and Tara? Don't tell everyone about my spot. I like having space to just be. Okay, perfect. I don't have to stress about that anymore. Lena, I would like to give you some pumpkin pie because we are struggling with your friendship at the moment. I've finished a few more people's friendships Going off. Going to the spa isn't really my thing. Who has that kind of free time? People without kids, maybe. No, they just work more. <laughs> but the onsen on a cold day? Ah, it's a perfect little escape. And let's give you your pumpkin pie. 
Wow, thanks. Parker and the kids hate pumpkin pie, which means more for me. <laughs> Perfect. That's much better now. We are close to casual friends, me and Lena now. That's much better. Oh, forget me nots. That's what we need. All the way, forget me nots. Have a chat to Shelby as well. No one would have called Sophia a witch if Marcus were still around. And Giacomo. And Gloria. Marcus was Thomas's dad. Is that right? I forget who Marcus was. I remember Giacomo and Gloria. Oh, Marcus, I think, is Lena's dad, actually. That's right. Something really terrible happened to them in the gloaming, huh? I don't have your favourites, sorry, Shelby. Shelby's also a new acquaintance, so what I need to do is make more, like, fish stew and stuff for Shelby, or find out other things that he likes that I'm able to make. That's why I kept hold of a bit of shrimp and salmon and stuff, so I could make, uh, make more recipes for people. We are definitely at that stage of the game now. But that was a good good Saturday and Sunday. I really wanted to see Otto's cutscene. And it was very much about his love for his dad, which was really sweet. And Vanessa's was very much about her love for Fairhaven, which was really sweet too. Hey, Giver. My parents sent me a letter. I can't believe it. Oh. They're congratulating me for winning my grant. And, and they want me to write back. They sound proud of you. Is that a bad thing? Doesn't know what to write. They had me signed up with the most prestigious matchmaker in Mumbai. I tried so hard to get out of it. I told them I wanted to finish college first. Oh, so now you have finished college. You have no excuse now. Ah, I see. But finally, I had to tell them that I was never going to marry a man. Any man. Ooh. It wasn't me liking women that upset them. It was the loss of prestige that I wouldn't make a match. So they cut me off, and I don't know if I can forgive them. That's maybe, um... Setting boundaries is okay, but they may have changed their mind about things. If they're, if they're reaching out, it's worth checking. It's been a long time. Maybe your parents have realized how badly they hurt you and they want to make it better? Maybe. Or maybe they're just trying to draw me back home. I need time to decide whether or not I'll reply. But it's been so kind of you to listen. You're welcome, Giver. I haven't had a friend like you in a long time, Tara. Listening to each other is what friends are for. Gosh, that must be so hard. Like, it's probably hard enough coming out um, in a society that, like, fairly accepts it. But in one where you've got things like matchmaking and things like that still going on, you've got super traditional parents and a culture that's just not even slightly accepting, it must be incredibly difficult. I really feel forgiver. Okay, so what is our next move? The bots are all off doing their thing, except for Planty, who has nothing to do today. Um, we've got all the glass we need. Uh, the bar will be shut. I could go over to the coven, couldn't I? And I could... Oh, you know what I could also do? I could go find Perry and give her the candles. But I'm feeling like I might need to go and yeah, start some gloaming gardening, because I don't actually have that much to do. I'm trying to like find cutscenes and things like that and, and give gifts and do all my mini quests and stuff like that. But the, the main stuff on the farm I don't have a ton to do. I can pet the chickens if I have a little bit of like spare time and that will just help them get towards their final heart and maybe give me extra special eggs and things like that. 
Ah, yes. They are Perry? I had wanted to try decocting this. Decocting it? A little bit of friendship with Perry there. I'll have a chat with Perry and Ariel. I overheard Wesley and Zephyr discussing their siblings and how they miss them. Oh. Do I have any siblings? And if I did, would I miss them? Do you not remember? You too old to remember? Are you a bit like Frere and like just been around for like so many thousands of years you've forgotten half the stuff that even happened in your youth? If anyone wonders who Freyron is, uh, it's, a, it's an anime. The um, spiders have told me that someone who shouldn't be out walks through the woods some nights. What? Now, who could that be? I don't know. Leave me alone. Yeah, we still, still don't have anything I can gift Ariel. <laughs> Maybe I'll be able to, like, dig up recipes in the gloaming for magical things. Quite possibly. I'm going to go in the mines and do a bit of fishing, I think. I still don't have all of the mine fish. So I, th I figure I'll just try and do a little bit of everything. But I don't I'm gonna... have any bait. Maybe I should visit Bruno's shop? Oh yeah! I need bait then, don't I? <laughs> Maybe I should just keep like five of each on me. Um, can I take a few from Fishy maybe? Either that or I turn into a cat for a bit, but... Oh, okay, that's all of your bait. No, okay, I'm not going to worry about that then. I'll um, grab a little tiny bit of bait off Bruno next time he's open and we'll we'll go, we'll do it that way. Sunday, everything's going to be shut. Okay, well, spring then, I think. I'll just run over there. I've got time. I'm not going to use levitation potions if I don't have to. I'm, I'm hoping to make these last until I can make the big levitation batches that are like 15. Also, I need to check here. Like, if there's anything... Kim, Lena, Vanessa. So I wouldn't take one for Vanessa, but I might take one for Lena, for example. That would be quite useful. But I think I'm all stacked up on the... No, I wouldn't be, actually. Yeah, I'll take Lena some cheese. Just for the friendship uh, increase it will give me. That would be really, really quite useful. Thomas, I want to talk to you because uh, we're not quite there, are we, with our relationship? But we're very close. There have always been malcontents in those woods, whatever you want to call them. But it doesn't take a genius to see Sophia's not one. That's true. One piece of cornbread would do it, but I don't have corn at the moment. Uh, again, the greenhouse would sort that out. Looking forward to having the greenhouse because it's going to really help me just fill in the gaps with people who don't have um, in-season things that they like at the moment. Although I really could do with... I really could do with some help with Giver at the moment. Like, what... What can I do? Like, if I could maybe get the chai going. I've got a lot of tea uh, at the moment. That would really help. Okay, wellspring. I have a lot of turtle head flowers. Let's do four of those. Actually, no, we've got 33 of them, so. Two more. Thank you, Wellspring. No one else has got anything to say to me at the moment. We're still work working on the wand upgrade and 
for that I need a crocus so I can finish off my spell so you know that was obviously designed to take at least eight days in game for the first week of winter and it is trying to make sure that you do at least a, a couple of weeks of each season I think and to bed and then we can put the greenhouse in in the morning I'm gonna be so happy to have that I'd be really interesting don't know if it'll come with plots or if we'll have to make some plots or what's going to go on with that. So you should probably put some more soil on before I go to bed as well. And then the winter feast will be soon as well. I feel like I have done everything I need to do though. Give the gift. I did the menorah candles. I basically immediately gave Kim the things that they needed. So that wasn't an issue. Time I'm for bed. Sleepy. And then what else was there? G gift for giver. Yeah. So we've done all of it. Morning, Tara. Okay, speed boost longer. Five days remaining. I should probably put on some silver essence for that then, so I can make a new one. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna double down on um, Ariel today. Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. Or probably something else that's rubbish and I don't have a clue how to make. Malasada. It's a donut. I should... I should check with Angus if he sells any of these things. Maybe the Malasada or the Brigadero. I'm probably butchering those pronunciations. Maybe some of them are something i don't know uh i also wanted to see if there was anything that i could give to kai we're okay for lena now i think uh kim as well marty natalia on auto we're fine with parker will have coffee perry will have turkish delight sebastian will have pancakes shelby i might want something else other than the fish stew thomas is cornbread and honestly talking to thomas will probably be enough Maybe something extra for Violet and Zephyr as well. And then these are all of my little animals. Right, so. Uh, Kai next, I think. Hmm. Oh, I think I see something. Blue Hawaii cocktail. Drinking it replenishes some magic. There's definitely a magical cocktail book somewhere. <laughs> that I don't have. Okay, so the, the the other thing I wanted to do today was... Oh, let's grab the oranges and limes. It's probably actually better for me if I don't have to get all of them in one day. It's a bit boring, isn't it? Crocuses, are, the, are you done? Are you, yes. All right then. So I want just to harvest one of them. And I can make my storm spell today. Because that was the only ingredient we were waiting for, isn't it? I think, anyway. Yep, just missing ink. Always craft that in batches of ten. Seems such a shame to ruin such a lovely day, but... Uh, summon storm and we will have a pearl, so it seems to be connected to that. I could do with getting another crocus seed from uh, Violet as well, but no big rush on that one. Uh, right, two Parkers. This greenhouse isn't going to build itself. And then it's... Um, uh, so I'll be able to do the storm today. Uh, we'll be able to get into the gloaming then. Winter feast is tomorrow. 
That'll be next episode. Let's just check Angus's bakery quickly. I want to just see what you sell. No, none of the things that uh, that Ariel likes. That's annoying. Parker, well, I could give you a coffee while I'm over here as well, so. You'll probably quite enjoy that, won't you? Been busy in the kitchen. Now I'll take that off your hands. That'd be extremely helpful. And uh, I wish have a chat. Otto would stop using the word witch. I mean, why did he have to call Sophia that? But you were okay with Cameron calling Sophia a malcontent. Yes, because malcontents are real. I look, I know how it sounds, but malcontents can be dangerous, Tara. <laughs> if only you knew who you were married to. Hey. Greenhouse, let's go. I'll get this greenhouse up in no time. I actually didn't even think about how much it costs. I was just like, I'm sure I have the money. <laughs> Should only take a day or so. Perfect. Greenhouses go. And Parker is now up to the top of casual friend level. So we'll maybe be able to get that third heart with him at some point. Again, not worried about it too much, but not going to take him any coffee now until... Until a bit later. All right, so I want to go and see Perry. And probably give Wesley a present and stuff like that as well, if I can. Wesley is open on a Monday. Alright, I think I'll actually give you the roast pork today. I want to see what you say. Oh my word, thank you. Hazel used to make this for me, but your version? It smells even better. How did that not? Oh, I may have. Do you know that time I had to reload? I think I may have like, discovered that he liked roast pork on that on that time. I apologise for that because that's uh, knowledge I shouldn't have had. But uh, never mind. That was like half a heart though. Yay! Roast pork for the win. I'll start growing carrots as well so that we can make some roast beef. That'd be nice, won't it? Also though, I could probably take the rum quest and give that into you as well, which will help. Huh. This is perfect for or my incantation or studies. It was. Yeah. Not gonna drink it. No, no, no. Yeah, that's hugely helped. One more present probably will be enough. Um looks like Perry's is shut right now, so everyone is shut except Wesley on a Monday. Oh, let's go see Perry. Why was I seeing Perry again? Oh, oh yeah, I wanted to shop. It is so cold in Fairhaven today. I got snow in my boots. Oh, the snow will stop in a day or two, yes? I know, I know. It feels like a second to you. But no pain feels more eternal than wet socks. Oh, I'm with you on that one, Tara. So with you on that one. Right, so back to back to base. Is Parker working on my shed yet? Ah, oh, look, you're working on my greenhouse. So good. What else do I want to do? Yes, we want to go and make a storm happen on the beach. Let's run to the beach and do that, and uh, progress my wand quest a little bit. See if I can get a pearl to show up. Ooh, seaweed. I think that's actually quite useful for a few things. Don't need the seashells as much anymore. So powdered calcium is back on the menu for uh, some of the quests for Amira, for example. So that's quite nice. Yeah, so okay. Maybe here would be a good place to do it. Go, Tara.
past that storm. Collect Essence of Hellbore on an Amethyst for your wand upgrade. Hellbore? Wow, okay. Wow, there's loads of stuff on the beach now. Why couldn't I have done this storm before when I needed like a million seashells? Ah. Gives me the things I need after I need them. Just what I want in a game. I have a chat to Thomas as well. Saw just Juliet to when I went off. to Lena's yesterday. She said Kim's really been helping out. I'm sorry we got off on the wrong foot. Their heart's in the right place. Hmm. Yeah, one more chat with Thomas should should totally finish that off. I'm not going to worry too much about Amira and Sophia at the moment. I want to just find the better presence, to be honest. It just, it's so much faster than talking. Um, what I do want to do, though, is give my cows a little pet. And possibly my chickens as well. I want to really get them up to, like, full. Like I had with Meg, but it takes a while. They seem pretty happy despite the storm, don't they? Luckily, I don't need the money from selling them. I feel really bad that I had to sell Meg, but at that point, I was so desperate for money. But this is what we're going to do just to finish off the day, I think. Could go down to the bar and have a chat to people down there. It's becoming less and less worthwhile doing that, though. I think it's more worthwhile for me at the moment just going to the specific people I want to spend time on and give presents to. Whereas talking at the bar was really useful early on. I need to check um, VD's stock as well. VD, one second. I just want to check your stock. 34. Okay. We need to get another 100 pretty soon then off of uh, Marty. I don't want anyone running out. Yeah, a few more pets. I'll probably pet them like once an episode or a couple of times an episode or something. I'm not going to be like Every single day I've got to feed and pet these chickens. Oh no, you know, it's, it gets a bit, gets a bit ridiculous then, doesn't it? Um, hang on, you are the last one, Henrietta. But if I do this while I've, I've got eight of them, then I can find, if I get new chickens, new, well, I've got a full batch of chickens at the moment. But if I get new animals, I, I don't have to worry so much. Because there'll be ones that I know are already finished off. Okay, so it's 6.30pm and the only thing I can really do at the moment is to try and go back in the mines and see if I can find... It did say fix a gem finder on one of the mines. Oh, right, fix one. And you'll only find them on floors 15 to 20, but I can't do that. Well, maybe we could go in... Did you see? Well, it seems as I need to find Hellbore. Maybe we'll go into the glowing for a bit. And look around and just see what I can find. Seems like there's scavenger balls there that need to be need to be found. So let me see what I can find. That's not one. Hellball. Where am I gonna find them? I wonder if I'm a cat, if I could catch that thing. And then you use that as bait to get the thing in the gloaming. It's gonna look everywhere. Anything that it looks like I can pick up. Okay, 
Okay, so that's a dead end. We can go down here. That's also a dead end. Okay, that's fine. We've explored though, and I've not found anything along this section. So my thoughts are probably that it's beyond the spider webs, but not any further than that, unless I need to grow myself a beanstalk. That's the only other thing. Not seeing anything I can pick up here, you see. Oh, I see, that would make a bridge going down to this part if I put a beanstalk there, maybe. That might be a bit faster. Hmm, that would be worth it. Four days I get a useful crossing, so... Wouldn't mind being able to go across there and come immediately to this part. Hey, that'd be quite useful. We've got the fairy ring there. Nothing else. How am I going to get this stuff then? Show hint. Perry might be able to help with Essence of Hellbore. Okay. Well, I will have to chat to Perry then, I guess. Because there's nothing that can be, that can be done here. I don't know how or where I'm going to get into the gloaming deeper. I can't even see, like, what's locked off to me in, in here. It's, it's kind of interesting. That's fine. So when is Perry next open? We're on a, a Monday. And Perry will be open on Wednesday? Yes. So we'll basically, what we'll need to do is the... Winterfest will be tomorrow. The greenhouse will also probably be done tomorrow or the next day. So we'll do the Winterfest. I've done everything I need to prepare for that as far as I'm aware. Managed to get Otto and Vanessa's cutscenes, which is something I needed to do or wanted to do. And we are now dating Wesley, so I'm just going through the dating uh, mechanics at this point, which is really, really fun. <gasps> Love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And I'm just working on everybody else's relationships at my own kind of pace, really, at this point. So there's nothing I need to really stress about, which is quite nice. Uh, but the only thing I don't know how to do is to get Essence of Hellball. By the time Perry is open again, um, Francis will also be open so I can quickly get myself an Amethyst from that. Or I can just go find Miney. Which I might just do. I might go and see, see if Miney's got any nice gems. I'm surprised that Miney didn't find an amethyst, to be honest. But this is the thing I was saying. What I might need to do is sometimes with Miney, the wrong gems will be found. And so the wrong gems will be sold. And the right gems will be purchased. <laughs> so that's, that's where Francis comes in useful. Right, so. You actually did have an amethyst. Nice job, Miney. Fantastic, well done. So then when I can get further into the gloaming, I'll be able to get Hellbor hopefully, or like Perry will help me with it, I'm not sure. Perry's shop is at, at maximum now, I think, so. If she's gonna sell it to me, she's gonna sell it to me. If not, she's not. So I think that's everything I need to do today. It's everything I want to do, because uh, obviously there's gonna be a lot more to do when my greenhouse is open and all that sort of thing. Oh, only one thing is if the potions down here are done or haven't been put on. Wow. Crystal ball potions all the way. I really need to know what people like. Did I make the pancakes? Does it? Oh, yeah, I did. Okay. You to keep an eye out on the maple syrup and make pancakes as much as I can for Sebastian. We're going to grow. I haven't made a mushroom pizza for Juliet, though. Juliet's massively behind, so it'd be useful if I could, or if I at least knew what I was missing for one. 
I am missing pizza dough. Okay. Make pizza dough. I can make a few actually. We can make something like five mushroom pizzas and then we can just use that to help Juliet along a little bit. Um, if I could find something else that Sebastian liked that didn't take as long as collecting maple syrup, that would be quite useful as well. But I think there I am going to end Time the episode. For bed. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, then please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. Hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.